Hey, this is David. I'd like to hope you enjoy any day, afternoon, and evening. Thank you for watching this adventure. Right now, I'm in Lockport, and Matthew is getting the food. So, once he gets the food, we will be on our way to Brockport. You're probably wondering what's in Brockport. Well, if you see the suitcase behind me there, that is full of Detective Kids books. Which <laughs> obviously means, well, maybe not, but here's the real reason why. I have a book signing Brockport, so Matthew has, how do you say, not volunteer, well, yes, volunteer to take me to Brockport so I can do my book signing. We, I and we will be back in a moment. We're on our way to Brockport. I'm still leading, but Matthew has these lovely questions. There are no right answers. This is for my philosophy class at Brian and Stratton College. So the first question is, what is the United Nations? Okay, so I just answer it? Mm-hmm. Best of your ability. The United Nations is a core group of appointed people from various nations that help to understand each other and to help govern the world, basically, by, you know, bringing out, um, you know, problems that areas face, problems that countries are dealing with, you know, and try to resolve them peacefully and with understanding from different sources, I guess that would be the best answer I could give. Cool. Okay. Okay, so, question two, what does global warming mean? Well, if I took it literally, it would be warming the globe, I would assume, mm -hmm. but okay. global warming is, I guess, from what I understand it to be, the gradual heating of the earth, I guess the average temperature of the earth based on, you know, the greenhouse effect and how carbon dioxide continues to enter into our atmosphere, causing, you know, the green effect to occur more and more, where, you know, the sun's heat is making the gases, you know, heat up the atmosphere, which is gradually heating up the air temperature on Earth. Okay. Um, to me, this is um, a interesting question. Did the dinosaurs exist? I would assume so. Um, <laughs> of course, I wasn't back then to tell you yes or no. Um, I would assume, based on skeletal evidence, that they did exist. But, of course, we could be wrong. But, you know, I guess it would have to determine what you mean by a dinosaur. If you mean dinosaur as it's portrayed nowadays, I would say, you know that I would tend to agree because look at the evidence. If the evidence is there that you have bones and they appear to form in a certain way and they give a certain structure, I would assume that the dinosaurs then would yes exist. So. Okay. What is bigger? Our solar system or galaxy? Galaxy. Okay. You being a social study teacher, I should know this one. Um, what is the Bill of Rights? The Bill of Rights is the first ten amendments to the Constitution. Very nice. In what century was the United States Constitution originally written? Well, it would be the 1700s, which would then be the 18th century. Okay. Put the following religions in order... Of oldest to newest. Now I don't have the correct order. Okay. So logically, guys, saying maybe, you know, you know, you do know that'd be cool. Um, we got Protestant, Protestantism, mm -hmm. Catholic, Catholicism, or are we Catholicism. Say? Okay. Islam and Judaism. Judaism would be first. Mm hmm. Catholicism would be second. Okay. Islam, I believe, would be third. And Protestantism would be fourth. Okay. Um, reason why Jesus was a Jew, so he was practicing Judaism. If 
Catholicism came from his life. I believe Islam was founded after he died. And mm-hmm. then Protestantism yeah. wasn't until, like, I think the 1400s, so... Okay. Alright. So, next question. Who won the Vietnam War? That would be... North Vietnam. Okay. Osama Bin Laden is from what country? Well, he's associated with Afghanistan. That's interesting. Um, for some reason, I keep thinking he was born in Pakistan, though. So okay. he, But he was known for, I guess, being in Afghanistan. So I'm going to say Afghanistan, although I think he might have possibly been born in Pakistan. Okay. What are the midterm elections? Midterm elections would be um, the elections that happen midway between presidents... Um, term of office so Mm -hmm. for example if Obama took office technically it'd be 2012 he got elected so the midterm would be 2014 and then another president would be elected 2016 so the next midterm would be 2018 okay Um, these one two three four five questions are true or false and this is the first one Everyone's opinion about reality is equally right. Mind you, there are no wrong answers. Well, that's what I have to think about. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Everyone's opinion about reality is correct. Mm -hmm. Huh. I know. Isn't that good? That is a good question. Yeah. Let me think. I guess reality is what you perceive it to be, so I'd almost want to say true, because even someone who doesn't think straight has a mental disorder, for example, they have a perceived view of reality, so their reality is to them correct, but not to everybody else. So if the question was asking, you know, is normal, like, you know, the big normal debate about, well, what is normal? Well, in this case, I think reality is in the eye of the beholder, so I'm going to say it's true. These poppers are really good, by the way. They are fun, stuff, delicious. Okay, which is actually sponsoring this part, I guess. I don't know. Um, so the next true or false uh, question is, everyone's opinion about what is, what is right and wrong is equally right. Everyone's opinion. Okay. No. Okay. That is false. Okay. Because there is, you know, natural law that you have to take into consideration. Um, so it's based on, you know, people mis... You know, the problem with people is that they misinterpret the natural law that constitutes us, and then they apply it, and then they make... They get confused by a variety of different things. For example, you know... Um, media or public opinion or society clouds the issue. So I'm going to say that that is false. Um, not everyone's is correct. If we have a common law. We have to interpret it the way it's said. Common natural. Okay. The purpose of education is to make money. Now, isn't that an interesting question? Yeah, isn't See, it? Of, these true or false are really interesting. Yeah. Okay. The first... The purpose of education is to make money. I would hope it would be false. I mean, sometimes it acts like it is true. There are, I'm sure, people in the education field, you know, teachers or students or whatever, that are hoping to get money from it by getting a better job or what have you. But I would assume education would be the betterment of yourself. So I would say false. That's not true. Okay. People choose their beliefs. That's all I have. Wow. Well, <laughs> I, I know. I say these true or false. They're really tricky. People choose their beliefs. Hmm. Test, test, test. Hold on. 
So I got distracted. Um, people choose their beliefs. Interesting. Well, this is, I would say it should be true slash false. I, mean, I don't think there's a true or a false to this. It's sort of like a maybe. Depends on what we're talking about. Some people are born, I guess I would have to say true, uh-huh. because even if you're technically born into a certain religion, I guess you do have a choice to continue with the religion. Or you said beliefs, but you didn't even say religion. Right. So beliefs, people choose their beliefs. Again, now it leads to, well, beliefs is a vague term. So it is. why is it vague? Like, because beliefs could be anything from your religion, which I automatically jumped to. I guess I took a religious persona, you know, right. from it. But, you know, I mean, beliefs could be, you know, I believe the Red Sox are going to win compared right. to, I believe, you know, the Blue Jays or whatever. So, I mean, I guess I would say. It, for the most part, it has to be true. I would assume people would have choice in their beliefs. Although in certain instances, like I said, like in countries where, like, I got South Korea, where you have to believe a certain thing, right. they'd be forced to believe a certain way. But then you take it and you look at it and say, well, but still they have their own, probably their own personal beliefs. They're just not expressed. So, you know, a belief and an expression of a belief are two different things. So I would say true, although sometimes it's not always shown what their belief is. I believe everyone chooses their own belief. Okay. And we have the last question on this lovely sheet. People choose their desires. Again, this could be a T slash F, a true slash fall. It mm-hmm. depends on what you're talking about. Their desires. If we're talking about jobs, again, although some people, like, because I keep jumping back to people who have, like, for example, I, I look at it like a 17, 18 year old who has very strict parents. Right. I want you to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. And they become a doctor. Right. It's, so that's not technically choosing their belief. But. They ultimately also have the choice to say, no, I don't want to be a doctor. Right. But they choose not to. See, that's the key. So they choose not to, you know, go against the other person that would, I guess, force their beliefs or force their desires on them. So I believe that I would say almost people choose their desires. You know, and then you have to look into external things like, caught money like okay okay maybe I want a, a jet yeah but I can't buy a jet because I don't have the money right so I guess in that instance how much money determines it mm-hmm. but I also probably could save up the money for it if I really tried so I would almost say yes it would have to be a true it's just how do people handle that desire how do people approach the desire you know do they you know, go about it the right way, or do they not? I guess in theory, even though a jet could be millions of dollars, you know, and it would take me a long, 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 long time to get a jet, I assume mm-hmm. I probably could get a jet at some point. Mm-hmm. It may just take sacrifice of a lot of other things that might get me to that. So I would say people could choose it, but, you know, it just depends on the way they go about it. Mm-hmm. Neat. That's a good discussion. Um, I also, let's see, what do I think? Let's see. Everyone has their own opinion, but reality is equally right. I'd say so to some extent. Uh, everyone's opinion about what is right and wrong, equally right. I'd have to agree with that. Um, the purpose of education is to make money. Not necessarily, I think, when you have a better education, you fall into the money, so to speak. And then, let's see. People choose their own beliefs. Um, I think the beliefs would be instilled by their parents. Um, as well as, as you grow up, you get older and all that. Um, they start to believe in their own beliefs. Uh, people choose their desires. Let's see. 
people choose their own desires. Um, I'd have to say so. Uh, because I have a very laid back family. I was always told you can do. Mm, mm. I was always, um, how do you say? Told that you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, how would you, how would you say laid back in terms of desires? Let's say people choosing the, 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 the family laid backness. So yeah, I can equal I can choose what I like to do with my life. So yes, I would say people can choose their own desires. Um, everything else, you know, it's pretty much a, has an answer. So, we are done with this segment. We will be back shortly. Enjoy. Hey, it's David Lurk. Thanks for watching the adventure series. Uh, as you can see right now, I am in Love to Xbox. Matthew is playing the Pokemon game he loves so much. Me, I'm selling books. Um, hope you enjoyed today's adventure. What um, interesting side note um, for you today. I sold two books. But uh, interestingly enough, here's the interesting part. Interestingly enough, um, the books were sold before I came here. But let's say I was a sale nonetheless. Uh, always have a good time coming to this area. It's always been very, a very nice area. And Treated myself and Matthew very kind. Treated myself and Matthew very kindly. Um, so hope you enjoyed today's adventure. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you to the folks who bought my books. I am David Lucht. Have a good day, afternoon, or evening.